Wide nursing shortage has also been hitting hospitals right here at home. St. Joseph's Health, though, has found a new, innovative way to adapt. It is the first hospital in Onondaga County to introduce a virtual nursing model. News Channel 9's Nicole Somavilla explains how it works. Good morning. My name's Karen. I'm the virtual nurse today. Karen L. Seaver is making her daily rounds. And do you have any pain this morning? Just not at the I patient's bedside. Are you familiar with the, the virtual nurse? Great. She's part of what they call the connected care model. An experienced nurse joins a younger nurse virtually, helping them make critical decisions. It also creates a safety net for our new nurses who may be a year or two out of nursing school. Yuri Pastrick is the chief nursing officer. He tells me this is an innovative way to recruit new nurses and retain more experienced ones, some even coming out of retirement for it. Providing them an option where they may not have uh, been able to do the hours that they used to, the challenges that come with being on your feet all day. I always tell them I can do anything but bring you a glass of water. <laughs> and if they want to connect with someone, all patients have to do is click this button that says virtual nurse. And this phone right here in the hub will start ringing, letting the nurses here know which room and which patient needs help. I absolutely love it. Especially because she gets to spend more time with patients while taking pressure off the nurses on the floor. I loved the concept of the teamwork and just being an extra set of eyes, an extra set of ears. We've had changes in the patient's condition where the virtual nurse was able to catch that. Strengthening care while supporting staff. Okay, great. Thank you. Bye-bye. Until she logs on for her next shift. Nicole Somavilla, News Channel 9. Okay. And St. Joe's introduced the virtual nursing model in three of its units back in September. Upstate University Hospital launched a similar program last week.